It's so beautiful. Alexander, the legendary Eidolond. So you wish to defend the castle with your brilliant wings? How admirable! Your powers even transcend Bahamut's, Alexander. I've been waiting for you. I've called a magic carriage for you. I'm sure you'll like it. Invincible, come forth! You're mine, Alexander! You have gone too far, Kuja. I granted you the freedom to do as you wish in Gaia for one purpose alone. Now that you have lost sight of your mission, I will no longer tolerate your actions. You have not the slightest idea whom you are defying. I will show you soon enough. You too, Zidane. Hmm? What happened to the Invincible? Enslave Alexander, as you've enslaved Bahamut! Could it be? Garland? Impossible! Why would he come to Gaia? If it is indeed Garland, he must know my plan! Why has he assumed control of the Invincible? No, he can't be! Phew, that was quite a trip. You little bug, we could have been killed. Hamon's right, it was a mistake to come here on that airship. Well, we had to get it somehow. Come on guys, we made it here in one piece, that's all that matters. Quack quack, that's right. I'm never gonna ride on an airship again, never ever. Sorry, Vivi. Captain! Where is her highness? I don't know, we're looking for her too. Shoot, I must find the captain. All right, let's go find Dagger. We have to find Aiko too. They're probably together. And so the party takes out on a mission yet again. Well, this is our chance, our time, to find an optional mini boss. Before we move on with the story too far, as it were. Everyone's got gear ready to level up. So which way is it to the library? This is the banquet hall? No, this is the library indeed! This is our next chance to fight! What evil lies here? Now do we have all our abilities equipped properly? We need at least antibody on for everyone. Have a look through here quickly. Antibody indeed. Antibody. And we're all sorted, we're all set. It's time to fight. The evil book here. I hear someone talking! We try to listen! We'll challenge it! Challenge me if you dare! So an extra battle begins! You might remember this from one of my cards there! Book of Alexandria's history it looks like so far! What it may actually be however, it's a different thing entirely! do nasty damage to us over time, so let's use some skills, some abilities here. Let's try to use Fevery. In the meantime, what can our flare abilities do? Chakra restores HP and MP of one party member is not bad at all. Messing around the start like this might not be the best thing to do. 
It does 819 damage. Page 19 is what it opens at. The wrong page for us indeed. Time to start hitting. Time to start attacking. Make sure it doesn't do too much damage to party members just like that. We use win yet again. So as we hit it, it opens up the different pages. We need to open up at the right one. We just gain H oh, H3 HP from our regen, of course. I think one way we could open it up, however, is with a VV ability. Let's keep going until this book opens up. We do 34 with Zidane here. Page 102. Nothing on this page. Let's keep waiting until we know what page it opens on. Well, this is a very bad ability indeed used here. Lowering our HP by a fair bit here. Keep using Reese's Wind. Oh no, counter attack might ruin everything, however. What page is it going to open on now? Page 177. They open up indeed. The problem is, is that Vivi is attacking, and that's not what we want at all. Ouch! It makes it close up. Close up. It's terrible. We're using spare change next. We need to open it up within a certain range. Let's see how much damage this does. We use this win. Let's keep pop topping up our HP. I'm making this more difficult than it actually is at the moment. Paper Storm yet again. Armand's gonna need some actual healing on him soon. His HP is dropping like a stone. Counter attacks throw things off just a little bit. Throw some money for 567. Will this open the book? Page 198, it will indeed. And of course, now he's attacking to ruin it yet again. This is not working out so far at all. Stolen an ether from it, however. Phoebe, you're ruining everything, sir! Help me keep healing up poor little Armorant! This battle has not started well. I'm doing it completely wrong, in fact. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get it within a certain range of pages. So it opens up. The problem is, securing too many attacks and the counters keep throwing things off quite nastily. Keep healing everyone, seems to be doing more and more damage to armor on. Vivi's hit trance. We should be looking to save that. Vivi's gonna stand around and do nothing for a while, I feel. Page 70. The counter attacks are problematic. I probably would have been fine if it wasn't for the counters. Counters are usually good, of course. Except when they come at nasty, nasty times. We can't keep armor up healed up enough here. Might be good to move him to the back row, in fact. It's going to be a long fight, I'm sure. Paper Storm yet again. I think this is going to take down armor on, in fact. It's highly problematic indeed. We need to open it up so it can stop doing that much damage to us. Page 175, it's found! Now's when the good times happen. We need to heal him up, get him up, and make sure that we can do everything here. Steel? Because that won't make him close up. Whenever we physically attack it now, it's going to close up. We do not want to do that no matter what. Double black magic, however. Double fire on you, sir. Because mainly what it casts at this form is poison. We have antibody on everyone. Things are working out a little bit more in our favor now. 
We'll heal up Armour Hunt. Make sure everyone's tip-top battle condition. As Vivi starts to lay down the hurt. If we want, we can even give some Chakra to Freya make sure she has MP. This optional boss has a fairly large amount of HP, so this could be a long fight indeed. Especially because Vivi's now broken out of his trance. More fire though, however. Make sure Armour Up's in tip-top condition yet again. Everyone's ready to do stuff. Problem is, it just takes so long in between attacks and all that. We can also use other dragon abilities like Lancer during this state. We shouldn't close the book. Physical damage. Giving Freya a little bit more MP is always good, that's for sure. Make sure we steal all the goodies. Chakra them up when we can. 810 damage, 50 MP. Doesn't say ouch, so that's all good for us. More poison coming out. Now Freya's added to the battle. Didn't steal anything this time. Now Armour basically becomes an MP restoring guy. When he next turns back into normal book form, we're going to have to go all out again to get him back to his book. Make sure that he doesn't hurt us too badly. We need more magic on Freya. Draining MP, making sure it has no more spells to cast at us. Oh, I don't think you can actually drain an enemy's HP fully. In this phase is the only one where we can breathe a sigh of relief. It's our only bit of safety. Between Vivi and Freya, they have to put out the damage necessary. Keep giving Freya more MP, she needs it. Still MP to drain, it seems. This has turned into a very one-sided battle after the start. Our mix-ups with the counter-attacks weren't as good as we thought they'd be. Every time we steal with Zidane, it actually ups his fevery ability, by the way, the one we used earlier. At least for this battle, guys, even though it's deviated from the story a little bit, we've seen some nice new abilities, eh? Okay, he's going back in a book form. Now we need to start to attack. Bring him out of his hiding hole. Zidane still can't steal. Freya's ready though, however. Even Vivi's gonna join in on the normal spell. <laughs> Won't do much damage because his defenses are so high, but all we need to do is build him up high enough. Open him up. Get arm around to keep using flare here. We want to make sure we don't attack again until he uses paper storm. So we do not want to close him up. Doom, however, is a nasty spell to be cast. I'm not sure there's any way to block this if it hits here. 10 seconds until Freya goes down. Page 107. Nothing on this page. I'm gonna attack quickly then, Freya. See if we can open it up using you and Zidane. The nasty abilities start to fly loose. Not what we want to see at all. 
Frey goes down, we need to open up the book. Page 145. Nothing on the letter page either. It's another paper storm like that. We could go down. Page 31. Page 176 even. It's been found. Great, so we can heal up really quickly. Of course, our main attacker at this moment in time is busy doing nothing at all. More chakra. More stealing. Let's fray and that revive again. Time to use up abilities. I wonder if he can use chakra on himself. That would be interesting. He not steal anything though. Name's not doing very well with this. Really, we can't use any of the others to attack right now. We have to use those two. I'm not sure what one of the Dane's abilities. Help us out a little. This is a long fight, that's for sure. This is why we didn't try to fight it in disc two. Keep healing up Freya bit by bit. I might want to switch just onto potions for Zidane because I can't really steal anything at this point in time. He can check her himself, however, which is interesting. What else should we do? So he has some kind of skill that we can use here, like Solveig draws out the hidden power of the Thief Sword, and it seems that Vivi's done the damage necessary. And our mini boss has been defeated. We get ourselves a nice amount of experience there, which is a bit random. Gamble defense, a load of AP. Everyone has new abilities, it seems. And the running shoes, which will be very useful later on. Mini boss defeated, you are worthy. No problem, sir. We beat the magical book hidden in Alexandria Castle. I can't remember if we could fight him after this point, so I had to do it now. Of course, the castle shakes. What kind of stuff can we equip, I wonder? He's running shoes, for example. Very interesting. Let's find out exactly what we just got. There's a boots, magician's shoes, running shoes. Auto haste. An extremely powerful and potent ability there. And that is indeed why we fought him. Seems nothing's going on at the moment. And the Knights of Pluto in their room. Are they ready for the fight? The Moogle is, however. So I'm going to end it here, guys. After fighting the mini boss, and seeing Alexander get summoned. Join me next time to find out what's going to happen around the castle with Garland entering the frame. Bye bye.